Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, or IRGC, 125,000 troops strong, is joining 67 others on the U.S.'s foreign terrorist organization list. The Secretary of State says the IRGC is a fundamental threat to U.S. national security. The IRGC masquerades as a legitimate military organization, but none of us should be fooled. It regularly violates the laws of armed conflict. It plans, organizes, and executes terror campaigns all around the world. The IRGC is already a specially designated global terrorist organization. But this is the first time the U.S. has put a government agency on its foreign terrorist organization list. The Trump administration says the IRGC actively destabilizes other Middle Eastern countries, from supporting the Syrian government in its civil war, to helping Hezbollah undermine Lebanon's government, to sending advisors, guns, and money to Houthi fighters in Yemen. The question for the Trump administration, why do this now? We're taking an entirely new approach to this, of significant sort of sustained maximum economic pressure to deny the IRGC and the Iranian regime of the revenue that it needs to conduct its foreign policy. The Trump administration says there are other reasons to put the IRGC on the list. It plots attacks on opponents in other countries. It uses money from both state-run and private businesses to fund its operations. And it gives safe haven to al-Qaeda operatives. A former U.S. official says targeting the IRGC is understandable, but could backfire on the Trump administration. Iran is, is not doing well, uh, and there is significant unrest within the uh, you know, country, you know, but the Ayatollah and his government can make a credible claim that, that, uh, that this hardship is the fault of the United States. Early reaction from Tehran. It's now declaring the U.S. military in the Middle East a terrorist organization. And the Iranian foreign minister says Donald Trump is trying to throw Tuesday's parliamentary elections in Israel. Quote, another misguided election eve gift to Netanyahu, another dangerous U.S. misadventure in the region. U.S. officials say it's important to hold Tehran to account for its human rights abuses at home and its disruptive behavior abroad. But it's not clear that other countries are going to join in with the U.S. as it steps up its efforts to isolate Iran. Rosalind Jordan, Al Jazeera, the State Department.